Hello, this is Denton Yoder, instructor for BSE 2304, the Biological Systems Engineering CAD class. Uh, this is episode number three. We're going to talk about layers, line types, line weights, uh, transparency, a few things like that. Okay, to start off, there are two different ways you can look at the layer command. If I just type in LA for layer, uh, I get the layer tool. The layer tool is not very interesting with no layers in it. Um, i am just made it bigger so I can see everything. I'm going to close the layer tool. The other way to get into it is minus LA for the command line for layers. I find the command line to be the fastest way to create new layers and also to change the state of all your layers with a wildcard. Uh, so I use it often for freezing, thawing, things like that, uh, but also for creating new layers. If I want a new layer, I just type in N for new, and I can enter a list of new layer names separated by commas. So if I want an object line, if I want a uh, hatch or hidden or center line or text. Uh, one of my favorites is also no plot. So that'll be good enough for now. When I hit enter, you'll create all those layers all at one time. One more enter and I'm out of the command. If I go back to LA, poof, I've got a bunch of layers. For controlling the layers, you have two different ways to control the visibility. You have the on off and the freeze thaw. The sunshine means it's thawed out. You click it, you'll get a snowflake or it's frozen. Freeze and thaw is for what I call long term cold storage. If you want something to go away and stay away, freeze it. Also, your computer will run faster if you free a layer, freeze a layer, especially a large layer like a contour layer. Freezing the contour layer the computer actually ignores the data on that layer altogether. It's not in memory, it's not taking up space. It's still stored on the file, but it's not taking up space in the drawing's memory. On and off is just a quick toggle, to turn something on and off. It is still calculated even if it's turned off. Okay, lock and unlock is, we used to use that for structural steel. You draw some structural steel or set some survey points, and then you didn't want them accidentally moved so you would lock that layer. Uh, to unlock it, you just click it again to unlock it. We can set the color, the line type, the line weight, the transparency. Um, plot styles I really don't get to in this class. There's, an, there's a PST version of AutoCAD which will give you plot styles and you set up the different pins you want to have access to. Instead of doing that, I'm going to set my line weights on the layers themselves. And then when I plot, I'm going to control the colors and set the colors to all print black or to print specific colors if I want them to. But I'll take care of that, the colors on the plotting command and I'll take care of the line weights in the layer command. Okay, line types. For a center line, if I pick line type, I just see that I can have a solid line and that's it. If I hit the load option, I see all of them. The first ones are all ISOs, which you do not want those. Those are metric ones. If I grab the first one and hold shift and pick the last one, I can select and load them all. So I'm on the center layer. I'll grab that. I also have a hidden layer. I'll scroll down and find hidden. Um, towards the end, we have viewport freeze, which is going to be interesting in paper space. We have plot. Now, what plot's going to let me do is to set no on my no plot layer. If you want to be real mean, we used to do this to people. We used to turn all the layers off. 
then collapse that column so they couldn't see it. And they couldn't figure out why their stuff doesn't print, but that's being pretty mean. Let's turn that stuff back on. Okay, I'm leaving my no plot as no plot. Now, colors. I like white center lines. I think they look good. Hatching, I'm going to go with a dark gray. Uh, hidden lines. Uh, a light blue. Dark blue is almost too dark to see. No plot layer doesn't matter. We could make it some wild color because um, it's not going to print. Object lines. Things that I want to jump out, I'm going to make green. Text. I think yellow is pretty. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to close my layers. Now with my layer toolbar, I can select which layer I'm drawing on. So if I'm drawing lines, or arcs, they're going on whatever my current layer is. Uh, let's go to the hidden layer, put a circle in, go to center line layer, draw a line. Um, we haven't learned the hatch command yet. I don't know if I want to get into that, but at the bottom of the screen, I have a show line weights, which really isn't doing anything. But if I look at my layers, I never set any line weights. You'll get a default line weight on everything. Uh, to change it, you can just go to that object layer and set it to something different. A uh, place where I used to work, we used a 0.25 for everything that was tiny. 0.5 for objects and a 0.7 for borders, but or titles, big major titles. But yeah, you get to choose. Now that I have a 0.5 millimeter set up on objects, if I turn on line weights, I'll get that line weight on the screen. Transparency is the same thing. In layers, I can have something let's say my hatch layer could be set to a 60% transparent. And then if I draw something solid on that hatch layer, it'll be see-through. An example of that would be if I drew a polyline and set the width to be wide. Now, I put it on the wrong layer. I put it on the center line layer. Let me change that. I'm going to select my object and then pick the hatch layer, escape. So we just learned how to change things from one layer to another. If something is on one layer, you can select it, pick the layer you want to put it on, escape, select it, pick the layer you want to put it on, escape. So since I put my hatch layer to 60% transparent, even though I drew across my drawing with it, the objects that I crossed are still visible. If I turn transparency off, they're not anymore. Uh, another thing I can do is select the draw order, which is which object is on top and which one is on the bottom. That'll also ch change visibility dramatically. Okay, that was layers. That was line types. Let me tell you something more about line types. There is a setting LT scale. Line type scale should default. The best guess would be the scale of the drawing you're working at, but we haven't talked about scale. But if I'm on a 40 scale drawing, I should set LT scale to 40. If I'm on a 20 scale, I should set it to 20. That's not a hard rule. That's a good starting point. All the all the styles in the line type are defined for LT scale being your current scale. Each object individually 
uh, can have that scale overwritten. So if I go to an object, call up properties, I can set up a line type scale individually on each object independent of the drawing line type scale, but I don't think we want to go there. I think that's all I want to do on, on layers. So have a good one. Bye-bye.